Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, April 27th, and I wanted to start this morning by reading a quote from St. Francis of Assisi that says, start by doing what is necessary, then do the possible, and then you will realize that you can do the impossible. And I wanted to say that this morning because it is Monday morning, and for many of us, that often meant going back to work after having the weekend off, and for some of us, it meant that it was our day off after working the whole weekend. And I was watching on the news this weekend uh, all the plans that states are coming up with to reopen the uh, society and, and the economy. And uh, here in North Carolina, there's a phased plan that the governor came up with um, that may or may not begin on May 8th, phase one, that is. And I wanted to ask that we all uh, conjure up a little bit of grace and patience for one another as we do this. For some, this time has been incredibly busy when we have been asked to do uh, more than we has ever been asked of us before and to work harder with fewer teammates than before. And for others, we have had to stay home, not being part of the team, not being able to help, and losing, losing our jobs and sources of security and income. But for all of us, this has been a very upsetting time. And so I want to ask each and every one of us again to let to remember to start with what is necessary to do these new things that are coming up. And then do the possible together. And then realize that we are doing the impossible that seems that way today. I often imagine what the, the first disciples of Jesus felt when Jesus said to them, uh, you will do even greater things than me. And how they must have been overwhelmed with that, you know, how can we possibly do that? That's impossible for us. And yet they were given the power of God's spirit and they became unified with one another in a, in a new way that all things did become possible. And as we look at all of the things that we are going to be asked to do uh, in these times that are upcoming, let us remember that we have that same power within us and available to us. The power of the Spirit. The power of being unified with one another in new and remarkable ways. So let us all remember that none of us have been asked to do things that are totally impossible, and none of us will be, at, will be asked to do things that are totally impossible. But let's take it one day at a time. I often do not go and read from the book of Lamentations written by the prophet Jeremiah, you know, full of woe and lament. But there's also hope inside of there. And one of the passages I was looking at earlier says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Mercies never come to an end. For they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. And so I ask that we all be and feel renewed even on this Monday morning, as we start another day, another week, and another time of being in this world together. Will you pray with me, please? Holy and loving God, draw me closer to you that I may better know and do thy will. Amen.